hello and God bless you on today, Friday, November the 3rd, 2023. Yes, we are in a new month. We are in a new month. We are in a new month and the holidays, the Thanksgiving and the Christmas holidays will be upon us soon. As we can see, as we go in the stores, the Christmas decorations are already out. I get excited during Christmas time. Amen. Amen. Just uh, from the the spirit of Christmas. Amen. And what it represents to those of us who have put our faith in Christ. Now, the discussion is, well, Jesus wasn't even born on Christmas. I guess for many of us, the date he was born doesn't matter as much, but because, but that he was born, amen, matters a whole lot. That when God said they were having a discussion in heaven, and he said, who will go down for me? <laughs> he said, prepare me a body and I will go. So I'm glad that he came whenever he came, whenever he was born of a virgin. Amen. Born in Bethlehem. Amen. Born in a manger. And that manger is not a, a stable. That manger was a, a, a trough, if you will, that animals were fed out of, you know, <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, I didn't come on here to, to, to really teach about that. I wanted to do two things. That was um, to say happy November to you. We're in November. Amen, amen. May your November be in uh, a, a, a month where you mount up on wings as eagles. Amen, amen. Glory be to God. But I just want to... I don't know, just from conversations that I've had and listen at, listening at other people's conversations, y'all, and I'm talking about the people of God, the people's, people who, whose heart has, should have been circumcised, amen, those who have been born again by the Spirit of God, born from above, those that has the Spirit of God, amen. Those, I'm talking about the redeemed. I'm not talking about um, those, we we label everybody that go to church Christians, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah. But we know that Christians are those who are becoming like Christ, Coming like, coming like Christ Jesus. So, I'm noticing that there is a lack of kindness and compassion. There's a lack of um, love. The Bible said love covers a multitude of sins. But those of us who claim to be, amen, and I say claim to be, <laughs> claim to be children of God children of the most high God that we are attacking one another that we are, we don't have compassion for one another we don't care for one another we don't love one another amen if we see if, if we, we look at someone and judge them by our standard or what we didn't do or how we did something we will quickly throw that person out We'll quickly condemn them. When the word tells us that, that, that the Holy Spirit doesn't condemn, he convicts. So why is why are some of us working for the devil and condemning one another? Oh, little things. Just little things. You know, like that we put a period after someone when they've done something that has has caused us like disappointment or or, or reject. You know, uh, we shouldn't be like that. We shouldn't be that way. We should care for one another enough to to tell the truth in love. Amen. We should love each other enough to receive correction in love, 
to be corrected, to be, uh, um, uh, you know, told that, hey, that's really not right. That's not true. Let me show you. And let the word be our what? Commonplace, our place of unity. Amen. Let the spirit be our place of unity. Amen. Amen. That, oh, you know, oh, we that person such and such and such. And they're false this and they're this. And, and I can't believe they're, listen. But real quick to say, we, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God every day. We excuse ourselves before we excuse someone else and give them what? Grace. Give them the opportunity to grow from whatever mistake they may have made in your eyes. Um, um, instead of first looking at ourselves and, and saying, okay, how can I help this, my brother or my sister? Do I need to say anything? What should I say? Is this, is it wrong? You know, is it, is it, is it crucial for their salvation? You know, w- w- you know, pray about it. Holy Ghost, you know, what, can, you know, show me what should I do? I don't want to, I don't want to say something wrong, nor I don't want to ignore it if I need to say something. Amen. We need, oh Lord, we need compassion. We need, we really need the fruit of the spirit. Amen. Everybody want to operate in the gifts of the spirit, but we don't have the fruit of the spirit. Amen. We don't have the character. Amen. We don't have the love, the kindness. Amen. We don't have the forgiveness. We don't have the long suffering. Amen. We don't have the gentleness. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. We're lacking that so greatly in the body. Amen. And one of the things that Jesus told his disciples, amen, hallelujah, he said, love one another that the world will know that you are my disciples. Amen. Love is what separates us from everybody else. Love God's way, the love that's uh, shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Not a fair weather love. You know, I love you because, you know, you, you, you're you giving me something. But then when you stop doing something, I don't love you anymore. I'm going dis, to dis, discard you. Now, I'm not talking about those moments when you do have to separate from people. But you can still love them. You can still love them and not not go out and slander their names. You can still love them from a distance. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And then if the time comes, God will bring you back together. Then amen to that. But if not, continue to love that person. Amen. Continue to pray for that person. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Paul and Barnabas got in an argument about Mark, they were they separated. The Holy Spirit is separating Barnabas and uh, Paul. He's a separate, a separate. Amen. Glory to God. They they separate themselves. Because they couldn't see eye to eye. And that's okay because in the end they came back together. And Mark, Paul, you said, bring Mark with you. Bring Mark with you this time. So we have to let the process happen. Because sometimes it's a sanctification process. Amen. Glory to God. When we go through these these, um, um, situations. Amen. Glory to God. (laughs) But we need compassion. I'm just listening. I'm like, oh my goodness. You know, we, we so quickly... Um, sometimes um, see somebody and we, we judge everybody by our by our eyes by our mindset by our experience by, by what we know you know uh, like stop it stop it because I, I thought of this um, today because I'm always talking to God you know my t- attention I, I, it's like my mind just if I, if I, it's, you know, I, I come, I said, so I thought about something. I said, Lord, I said, I know in the Bible, Jesus, you know, went away early and he prayed all night and all that. He prayed. I said, but sometimes people want to, people want to tell everybody else, yeah, y'all got to pray like Jesus. You got to get up early in the morning and you got to go and pray. Well, if you're too sleepy to pray. <laughs> What's the point? You you gonna get in there and you gonna go to sleep? Amen. 
But if you get up that early and, and you're successful at it, good. Some people might not stop praying until mid to, to noon day. You know, some people, do. <laughs> you know, we have to stop um, trying to um, uh, uh, set people to our standards and how our way, how we, our relationship with, 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 with God, you know. Yeah, you got to get up. The first thing you do in the morning is, is open your eyes and tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. Glory to God. And that, you're supposed to tell him thank you. But what if that's not the first thing you say in the morning when you get up? What if you wake up during the night telling him thank you? What if you wake up during the night and you talk to him? What if you already said thank you before you even got out of bed? You know, I'm just saying, we have to show each other better kindness. The Bible talks about doing good to people. And he said, especially those in the household of faith, especially towards the saints. Even in Ephesians, when we put on the armor of God, he said the last thing is prayer. And he said, pray in the spirit, in all kinds of prayer. Pray for everybody, but especially the saints. We have to what? Pray for one another. We have to edify and help build each other up. We have to tell the truth in love. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 We, we, we should want to see um, each other be presented to Jesus perfect when he shows up. Amen. I know y'all. some of y'all got to work with that, a problem with that. We're using that word perfect because this is what we'll say. Ah, oh, nobody's perfect. But understand this. Understand this. God is not ex- going to accept any excuses. If you're using that phrase to just keep being you, to keep being in your flesh, to keep um, disobeying God, to, to live in the way you want to live, then you're going, no, oh, nobody perfect. We all fall short. Yeah. You Listen, God's not accepting any excuses because last time I checked, he has given us everything pertaining to, pertaining to this life and godliness. Amen. He has destroyed the works of the devil. He's taken away the power of sin over our lives. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And now we must grow up in that. We must grow up in that that truth, amen, in his word, amen, of what he's given us, amen, glory to God, me included, and I desire to grow up in that. Why? Because that's the way, that's his way, that's his will, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, we must grow up into the fullness therein, hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus is our sanctification. Amen. Amen. And he's sent his word. He's given us his instructions. He's given us the Holy Spirit. And he's given us, amen, gifts and graces in the body to help edify the body, to help teach us, to help us move along, to help us not to be tossed to and fro. Amen. By the doctrines of this world. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Paul said, if you hear someone teaching a, another gospel other than the ones we've taught you, oh God, let them be a curse. Listen, I hear all kinds of stuff. I do. And I pray for I pray for people. I pray for people because even God, he said, I do not take pleasure in the death of the wicked. For I would want them to what? Repent and be saved. Yeah, so I do what God does. I do. I do what God does. He prays. He He wants that. He, he don't want no one to perish. Amen. Glory to God. Know that he want anyone to walk in deception, thinking they're saved, and they're really not saved. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I pray for people. As I see them, as they come across, as the Holy Spirit to pray, <clears throat> I pray for those people. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need compassion towards one another in the body. We have to be able to love enough to cover sins, to cover um, um, any kind of thing 
that a person may have done. Amen. Glory to God. And pray for them. You, you're, you're talking to them uh, 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 out of your own flesh. They probably won't hear you. But prayer is spiritual. Prayer can, can go from, from one end of the earth to the next. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, I pray that God's children, amen, those belong to the Father, to the Most High God, that we will have a heart circumcised and surrendered to Christ Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Surrendered. Amen. Under his love, under his leadership, under his compassion. Jesus was compassionate. He was compassionate. We have to follow his example. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Even when the Pharisees would come to him and they knew he knew they would try to kill him and trap him. Jesus taught him taught them out of compassion and love. Amen. He didn't curse them and say, You you could die on the spot. You you know such and such. No, he just told the truth. He called them hypocrites. He called them vipers and he called them those kind of things. Amen. But he wanted them to what? Believe in him. Believe in the one who was sent. Amen. But they kept rejecting him. They kept rejecting the truth. Amen. We have to stop rejecting the truth. God's truth. And hallelujah. Stop trying to what? Uh, uh, um, make God in our image. Amen. We're trying to make God in our image. Amen. If there's something in the word that we don't like, then we'll turn around and say, yeah, but that's not, that was then. That's not. You know, no, God's word is God's word. It's firm in the heavens. No one can change his word. No one can change his word. Amen. Glory to God. And no one can stop him from doing what he's already purposed to do. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But that's what I was on my mind because I'm hearing it. You know, like we have to be, we have to be more compassionate, especially when we see what's going on around us in this world. And we have to pray all the more, pray for ourselves that we don't fall into what that same thing we are condemning someone else about. We have to be vigilant over our souls. Amen. And watch what we say. Amen. Because we'll be judged by what we say as well. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We need the fruit of the Spirit. We need the fruit of the Spirit. We need to be developed, matured in the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. 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 The Bible says, and these three shall remain. These three shall remain. Amen. Paul talks about it. He said the greatest is love. Amen. Amen. Love. Love, 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 love. Love. We can look at the cross and see how much God loved us. Amen. For he was pleased to bruise him. He was pleased to send him to the cross for him to suffer. Amen. Jesus suffered. Oh my God, when my mind just go and just imagine what all he went through for me. Amen. Glory to God. How dare I entertain sin? How dare I regard sin in my heart? How dare I don't show compassion to someone else that was the same thing that was shown to me? How dare I don't forgive the sin that was given to me? How dare I don't show kindness and gentleness and long suffering? Amen. 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 And ask for wisdom. Amen. On how to deal with people. How to deal with your brother or your sister. I ask for that. I want to know. I don't want to say anything. That's going to damage somebody. That's going to cause them to fall. That's going to cause them any, any, any anything that's ungodly. And we should all have that, man, that mindset. Amen. We should want to see each other do well. Amen. We should all want to see each other do well. And if we can help anybody, we should help them as much as we can. Amen. Glory to God that we begin to take on the principles of this Bible. Amen. This uh, instruction that we uh, were given. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. But remember to be kind. Amen. Desire. 
desire, desire the fruit of the spirit, desire the gift of love to be shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Spirit, that we can love one another, that the world will see it and know that we are his disciples. Amen, amen. Glory to God. You be blessed on today. Amen. You be blessed on today. Amen. Glory to God.